So here's an example. Uh, jerk. Jerk. What? Jerk. Um, find the body's velocity, speed, acceleration, and jerk at time t given the position function. S of t equals 2 plus 2 sine t. All right. First of all, what jerk? What, it, what, what is this jerk stuff? What was what, this a really rude person? No. Um, jerk is just the third derivative of position. It's the derivative of acceleration. So you have position, you take the derivative, you get velocity. Take the absolute value of that, you get speed. Okay, great. But you take the derivative of velocity, you get acceleration. Oh, fantastic. Uh, and then you take the derivative of acceleration and you get jerk. So why do they call it that? Well, uh, remember derivatives are rates of change. So if I had the rate of change of acceleration um, and it was a high rate of change, like acceleration is changing a lot, then you have some kind of like jerky motion. Sometimes this is called jolt or lurch because if a body is moving and it has a really quick change in acceleration, it feels like you're being, you're lurching forward or lurching backwards or something. Um, so that's where the name comes from. Uh, and it's just, it's just another derivative. So it's, it's nothing too fancy. Uh, so let's, let's take a look at this. Find the body's velocity. That's the first thing. And we're just going to take the derivative. So S prime of T, that's going to be equal to the velocity. And then we have, uh, well, the derivative of 2 is 0. And then the derivative of sine is negative cosine. I can leave that coefficient out in front. And it becomes, no, sorry, the derivative of sine is just regular cosine, not negative cosine. Cosine t. Okay, great. I have that check. Uh, if I want the speed, well, speed would then be the absolute value of, of 2 cosine. So that would be 2 cosine t in absolute values. If I were to plug in uh, some some value and it came out negative, the speed would just be positive for the for the velocity. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense or not, but hopefully it does. So there you go. That's check check acceleration. Uh, so a of t that would be v prime of t, and then I get the acceleration. Well, uh, I have v of t is. 2 cosine t, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, here we go, so it's a negative 2 sine t, uh, the cosine has that co sound, so I know that its derivative will become negative, and then uh, 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 jerk, uh, how do I write that? You guessed it, j of t, so a prime, did you guess, did you guess it? I don't know, I, it was, it's kind of quick, but uh, the derivative of acceleration, that's going to be the jerk and jerk derivative of sine is cosine so that would be negative 2 I just leave the coefficient cosine of d and then we have uh, that's jerk okay so those are all the three things four things four things um, lit, lit, uh, 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 in your book um, some of these say describe the the motion of the body, uh, so this this is would be some something on like a spring maybe, and it just oscillates back and forth. Um, I don't really care about that right now because it's a lot of writing, but it is it is important to know what's happening. So the easiest way to tell if you wanted to do those parts, I'm not going to make you, but if you wanted to do those parts, um, you could graph the position and graph the velocity and graph the acceleration. And then you could just see um, you know, the, the maximum or minimum values for each of those things. Uh, it, something to note about the motion would be the farthest it goes up, the farthest it goes down. So what's the farthest away from the origin that it goes? That's something to describe the body, the body's motion. Um, for velocity, you would say, okay, what are, what are the important things there? Well, when is the the body at rest, meaning like when does it change direction, possibly. Um, also, when is its maximum velocity or minimum velocity? Uh, that would just be like the max speed, pretty much, because uh, the minimum velocity would be also a max speed. 
and then maximum acceleration. That, that's easiest to tell based on the graphs. Uh, so if you have a graphing calculator, you can graph those. Or you could just remember the graphs of stuff. This is just amplitude of 2. And then those are just normal sine and cosine. Um, also the period, when it just starts to repeat that motion, like how long does it take to, to just get back to the starting point. That's also um, something important to describe the motion. So yeah, that's the, I'm not going to make you do that because it's just a lot of writing. And I don't want to write it, so I'm not going to make you write it. Uh, there you go. I think that's it for this one. Yeah.